Paddock had been stockpiling guns for years, and now there are questions about the modifications he made to some of those weapons. News 5's Debbie Williams has been digging into the information and investigating. Debbie, what have you learned about bump fire stocks? Well, they are perfectly legal. They're pretty hard to come by, too, especially in our area. We went to a couple, probably half a dozen or more uh, gun stores, and they, no one had them in stock. It's probably for good reason. This is not an automatic rifle, but it sure sounds like one. That's because of the bump fire stock attached to the rifle. Using spring action and the weapon's own recoil, the bump stock allows for rapid fire. Basically, when you place your, your trigger finger on the trigger here in this little groove, you're basically pressing against this and holding there, and the trigger itself is trapped down inside. They range in price from two to four hundred dollars. Their only function seems to be mimicking an automatic weapon. It is not a practical device. But it is one that allows people to experience the simulation of fully automatic fire. While it allows for hundreds of rounds to be fired per minute, local gun dealers say it's not a viable option for accuracy. It wastes ammo and basically turns money into noise. The people who buy this are buying it as a kind of range toy. It's not a practical device. Now, investigators say as many as a dozen of the weapons found inside that hotel room were equipped with this modification, but maybe not for long. Just this afternoon, we learned about an hour ago that Florida Senator Bill Nelson will introduce legislation that will outlaw the device. Live on the Baldwin County Beat in Foley, Debbie Williams, News 5.